Hey friends, hope you guys are doing well. So today I am going to show you the botanical garden. As we all know that it is winter seasons and after our winter break is over and the office, school, everything opens again and we know we just wish to like go again somewhere so we can just take out some time from our Sundays and we can easily visit this place um within kolkata that is botanical garden in howrah and i will be saying all the details later in this video so keep watching the video to know all the details and about this botanical garden it is like amazing for nature lovers and not only for nature lovers this place has its own history and heritage that is so big and vast and honestly it was so beautiful the site like there were so many trees and it was almost like I have come in some wild forest and I am not in the city roads that I usually go by every day. Now illustrating on how to go to a botanical garden. So from many places of Kolkata you guys get um, local buses of bee garden then if you guys go to, on those buses you will directly go to the botanical garden or bee garden and also if you want to go to this botanical garden with your personal car you guys will have to cross the second Hooghly bridge and then you will reach botanical garden and now coming to the timing and uh, you can also do morning walk here but uh, the visitors timing and morning walk fees are different to enter here the morning walk if you go from about march to september it will the timings will be 5 a.m to 7 a.m for you and if you go in the winter season like october to february the timings will be 5 30 to 7 30 for you and the visitors timing from march to september is 8 to 5 30 pm the ticket counter will close at 4 30 pm and for October to February, it will be 8 a.m. to 5 a.m. Ticket counter will close at 4 p.m. I know I said a lot of timings at once so you guys can check the photo I give in this video. So the price of the fee per head or like the ticket fee is rupees 40 and like professional photography is prohibited there but since we were like a day all of uh, us were taking selfies and it, uh, we went there on a special day so we got some free and i got to click these clips for you guys the actual name of this botanical garden like all of us call it as bee garden botanical garden but the actual name is actually acharya jagadish chandra Bos botanical garden its total area is 273 acres that is located in shippur haura near kolkata the garden was established in the year 1787 and were commonly known as company garden in that time it is presently under the botanical survey of india bsi of ministry of environment and forests it is a pure delight for nature lovers to visit this area and to spend some time quiet and peaceful time in the lap of nature of in the lap of mother nature at the garden the trees i have seen here that they are very odd you know the shapes like of course i'm not saying that every tree is same we see that that every tree has a different structure is made differently but here you can see the difference very clearly because there are so many trees and one is like slanted at this side and one is slanted at the other the leaves are different and the palm trees there were decorations on them like there were the, the there were the leaves the dried out leaves and it seemed as if there were man-made decorations on them some trees had leaves uh, but no flowers or fruits or anything and some trees were living but they didn't have any leaves and some trees did not have any leaves but were covered with orchids Talking about peculiar trees, I remember there was another tree that almost looked like we all know about the Sundari forests in Sundarban, right? The mangrove forests. And we all know the roots of mangroves 
um, come out of the ground to breathe but I saw some a similar kind of tree here and I was like this can be a sundari tree and so I asked some local people around the security guard and they told me that this was actually the kumho corner tree and that these um, these are the dried out because we went in the winter season these roots had dried out but other times these were like leaves decorated like that and I was amazed by the name like kumho corner tree we all know kumho corner it's a very famous character Directed in Ramayan. there were small lakes everywhere in this botanical garden in Bengali which we call Rod and these lakes had a own spectacular beauty of its own each had a um, you know other point of its own there were different various kinds of birds flying over these lakes and there were also these lotus petals not exactly petals the leaves like they were, they were the water lilies and these leaves were massive and some people even said that you even if even if a human sits on these leaves this will not float like this will not su get submerged in the water and will keep floating on the water along with the mass of the human weight garden is home to at least 12,000 living perennial trees as well as thousands of dried out plants which have been collected from all across the globe. Thousands of astounding orchids and multicolored flowers can also be found in this garden. the water lilies I was talking about earlier in this video and as you can see that uh, you know black um, bird that is flapping its wing it is not clear in my camera but it is actually a pankuri bird and you can see these massive you know water lilies they were just beautiful and I haven't seen anything like this <laughs> The major attraction of the garden is the vast and widespread famous banyan tree which is popularly known as the Great Banyan Tree. This enormous tree is reputed for forming the second most extensive canopy in the entire world. The botanical garden so the main branch of this banyan tree from which this um, big tree which we see now has formed the main three branches has fun ha had fungal infection and that's why people had to cut it off to save the rest of tree uh, and to make it surviving and so we cannot see the main trunk anymore but we can see its subsidiary trunks and to save it from uh, human you know so uh, we often tend to go to places and human contact may bring any harmful effect to those trees 
so that's why boundaries has been given all around this vast area of um if you guys want to go to this great banyan tree first of all if you guys like have that you know set in mind that why will go here first and as we all know botanical garden itself is a very big vast area and honestly when we went there we had like so many problems locating a specific area we we saw the sign boards but we had to ask many people and um you can just um you know open the google maps in your uh, mobile so that you when you go there you have easier navigation and you can go there more easily without all the walking and asking people So this botanical garden, as I already said, is a vast land, and I can possibly cover it in only one video. And there are many other places where you guys want, we will want to visit, and it is almost like a real forest in there, which is the nature trail. Honestly, when I went there, it was so cold; it actually felt like there was air conditioning in there. But when I looked above, I realized it is just this uh, like clear above, uh, like sky, and I was amazed. Uh, what the effect of forests could do, and so that's why to see this amazing place, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that whenever I post this video, you guys get the notification first of all. And don't uh, do wait for the next video, and also comment if you have already visited the botanical garden, and if you had seen these previously, and your experience in the comments box. Thank you for watching.